Close to Anything Goes podcast, man. It's your boy, Sean Peoples. Hey, people, listen, man. If you like our vibes, you like the movement, like, subscribe, share, comment in the comment section, man. Bring the notification bell so you can keep up with everything that we got going on, man. And don't forget, we're on the road to 5K. Yep, I keep saying it, the road to 5K. When we get there, we're going to give away some cash prize to some of our loyal subscribers as soon as we get there, man. So you definitely know that we're here right now with Miss China Jameson, Miss Exotic, Miss Exotic Beauty. Miss China, what's going on, baby? What's going on, Wagwan? Wagwan. You know, we're there long time. You know the thing, though. <laughs> Nothing, Wagwan. <laughs> How's everything? How's life treating you, man? Life's good? Been good? Life is good. No need to complain. You know, every day above ground is a blessing. Definitely, definitely. That's how you got to look at it. Yeah, um, I want to talk to you today about a, a, a little topic called sex appeal. You know, oh. Women you know y'all like to use your sex appeal and your, and your little uh, sexual gestures to run over us guys and get us to do stuff for y'all, you know. Oh, we don't. Y'all are devils with boobies. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. damn? So you know, so uh, sex appeal. What what do you what do you consider sex appeal? Is it is it uh is it just the the vibe that you put off to people, or is it how you dress? Explain that to me. You know, enlighten me. I think for me, um, sex appeal. Uh, is the way your mind, you know, the way you think, you know, your swag, like maybe the way you wear your jeans, your shirt, you know, um, it's more than actually um, just what gets you hot. To me, sex appeal is, you know, I'm demisexual. So your mind, you know, how you stimulate my mind, that that is more of sex appeal for me. Mm. Yeah. That makes sense. So say your uh your husband, your boyfriend, you know, what what type of tactics would you use to uh to to get him turned on or to get him to be sitting at the table eating dinner and you walk by? Is it is it how you walk? Is it the clothes that you wear? Is it the looks that you give him? How 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 do you get it get him to shake up? Well, I would say foreplay and foreplay people think is what happens before you have sex but foreplay is you know when we wake up in the morning you know me giving him kisses and letting him know that I hope he has a good day you know calling him at lunchtime making sure he ate um, or meeting him for a lunch date sending little text messages pictures saying I can't wait to see you Mm. you know all of that leading up to when we see each other, of course, I'm going to be looking good, smelling good, you know, and acting right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, all of that is a, just a conglomerate of how to turn your your lover on, because, I mean, you could be looking good, but if your attitude ain't right, he's going to be like, man, this yeah. shit. If you you know, it's every early in the day. Yeah, you have to start from the morning and, you know, it's it's a build up, you know, like, oh, I can't wait till he get home. Oh, get away. Yeah, yeah, work. He at work going through the phone, going through the text. Yeah. And ready to get home. Yeah, that's the type. Yeah. I, I guess most guys like that type of uh, a, a vibe because you, you is right. Uh, I guess foreplay doesn't have to start right before sex. It could start hours before even days before because let's say he out of town and you just sending messages pictures and talking crazy to him he can't wait to get right him. yes yes <laughs> i agree with that you're right about that so it, yeah. when, it, when when the whole the whole sex appeal thing now let's say you don't have a man but you see a guy that you like and you mm-hmm. want to get his attention what what's your what's your go-to move is it the once again is it the clothing is it the attitude or is it the the look or is it all three? Well, let me just uh, say this. Um, physical is what you see first. So as much as I don't want to, you know, like we discussed before, 
get someone's attention by what they see. Let's be honest. That's the first That's how it works. Yeah. They know how sweet you are. They don't know if you got a great attitude. They just know, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. You got a master's <laughs> or associate. I can't believe, yeah. I just love her so much, man. I heard she got a master's. <laughs> no, <laughs> no one has ever said that. <laughs> right. <laughs> so imagine that. Yeah, you know. Ah, you know, I'm looking for, she got, I heard she has straight A's coming through all through uh, middle school and high school. Ah, oh, so yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I, heard I, on. <laughs> I've never heard anyone say that before. <laughs> In the history of niggerdom, never. 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 <laughs> so it, it's right. definitely look. And I try to explain that to people sometimes. Cause I get sometimes it's kind of harsh when you say stuff. Like you yeah. said, uh, when a person asks you, so what made you talk to me? Because you had a big butt, you had pretty face. You, yeah. It's, it's, you know, you want me to, I can't say it because you have a nice personality. I didn't know you. And sometimes right. people get offended when you tell them the truth. You tell them <laughs> it was because of this, and they get offended. I, I mean, as I was, I just want to speak for women and say that, you know, we want guys to be more creative. You know, we know that what you see, we know what you see, we know what we're working with. I mean, we don't have to always address the big elephant in the room. Hey girl, you know, damn, you fat as hell. I mean, I hear that <laughs> the time and it's like, okay. And now what? You know, do you want to get to know me? You know, do you want to see what's what goes beyond you see? You know, or is that all you want? And and for the most part, men are really honest, and I respect honesty. Um, and they say, you know, I just I never, you know, been with a woman with an ass that fat, and I just want to know what that's like. And I say, you know, I respect that, but it's a no for me. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> uh, well, you know, you know, uh, with me. I never really tell the lady why I, you know, other than if she asks me, like, why did I talk to you? Because, you know, you're pretty. I might not say, oh, because you have a or something like that. But, you know, I'm going to say because you're pretty, you know, because, you, you know, because you look good. Well, you fill out in your clothes. But for me as a person, I never really and I've been like this for, for the longest time. I never really tell the girl I like her body parts until we already start dealing. So it's always a, a, a like, oh, does this dude don't notice that I got big breasts or this dude don't notice because I'm never saying, oh, you know, you got a big this and you got a big that. So it always comes and people and a lot of times I meet women that have problems with that because you're not but, usually <laughs> saying, yo, I can't wait to hold your big old. Now I'm used to be like, man, you ain't got no butt like that. Your butt ain't all the way, you know, and that, I, and that offends some people. <laughs> I like that because. You know, for me, um, because and women, too, you know, a lot of women, you know, women are shapely. You know, we we have bodies on us, you know, and that's what attracts men to women is the figure. And so the thing is, you don't always have to. A woman knows that she wants you or not. So for me, the way your approach is. Would, that would get you to the front of the line with me for a man that doesn't act so crazy over what he sees. Now you could be feeling that way, but like I said, everything got to show it. Yeah. Everything yeah. doesn't need to be spoken. And like you said, it's not what you say is how you say it. You can say, like you said, um, what, what attracted you to me? Oh, you were pretty. I like the way you carry yourself. The things that you can see other than stating the obvious. Yeah. The obvious. Like, uh, and yeah. most of the times they know the obvious too, because like you said, you guys know you're shapely, you know what you're working with. You know that I saw that old big yeah. brown. Yeah. Of okay. course, that's what I saw. So now you go act like I'm not supposed to see it too. When you went out and bought the clothes that <laughs> you know that that you want to show it off with. So you know, I I I, I, I think that it's a uh, it it's, it goes both ways, men and women. We yeah uh, we 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 play parts in in what's going on. But back back to uh. The guy in the room, how do you get his attention? I know, the, you know, I know this one is hard for you because usually they trying to get your attention. But let's just let's just act like, you know, this time you trying to get the attention. Well, my thing is, um, I don't I mean, I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but I don't have to get 
uh, the attention. I am a bold woman, so I don't have a problem walking up to a man and saying, hi, you know, how you doing? Are you single? I think you're very handsome. You know, I would, I would love to get to know you, you know, um, are you here with anyone? You know, whatever. I don't have a problem going up to somebody and saying, wow, I think you're handsome. And, you know, I want to talk to you. Like, are you interested? I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, that's that, you know, a lot of women, wouldn't a lot of women wouldn't do that. I wouldn't admit that they would do that. So I think that's, I think that's, that's, you know, when a woman have like a great personality and great and a good self-esteem, I think that can position her to walk up to a man and be like, Hey, uh, Hey, handsome, whatever, whatever, you know, whatever. And I think that, you know, that's, that's a great attribute to have because you, you got some guys that be feeling a lady refuse to be rejected so we ain't gonna say nothing to you we ain't gonna be like hey. <laughs> and you might even like him and you like well, i'm looking at this fool why he won't come over here I ain't right over here tonight because I, I ain't you know i took too many uh rejection already for the week i ain't taking no more <laughs> <laughs> right yeah and rejection is a part of life but yeah. you know you don't want to miss out on an opportunity with what could be your soulmate or your life partner you know because you didn't take that chance you know you just you wouldn't be able to live with that so you have to take a chance and guess what what's meant to be is gonna be that's it that's 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 definitely true definitely true so in a in 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 the sex appeal aspect is is lingerie a thing or you know you're not you're not a believer in that I love lingerie. I think I have more lingerie than clothes. What you going on with things over there? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, with me, I just started liking lingerie. I guess it's what? I guess it's because when, when you're uh being young and and not I guess not having enough sense to appreciate it. So I guess you you when you get start getting older, you start appreciating more stuff from women. But yeah, I didn't really care about lingerie because I I remember uh, a guy, an older guy I know that he told me, man, lingerie ain't nothing but some underwear that you're going to take off anyway. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know, the way I look at lingerie is like, um, you like Lay's chips? Yeah. Okay, you know how I say you can't eat just one. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of lingerie. Yeah, so basically um, the chips taste good. And you know, you know, you like the chips, but the packaging is what gets you when you're in the grocery store. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's what markets the chips. Mm -hmm. Same thing for the lingerie. You already know what her body looks like. You do, um, but that lingerie gives it a different. You know, you're looking at it a different way. Like, wow, that red has really got your skin looking like. Mm, oh my gosh! I like how that fit. You know how you fit in that. It's, it's, it's like it's a whole nother level. And you know, I like I said, I've been married twice. So you have to keep that fire burning in your relationship, you know. Got to keep you the fire have, blazing. You gotta keep it look, fire burn. <laughs> <laughs> keep keep the it fire burning. Blazing. Straight. Yeah. yeah. I you know, I think I think that. It, it, I think that it also plays a part with the the, the women that we deal with. Right. You know? Yeah, you may have some women that that want to do it, but because your persona is, man, I don't care about no lingerie. You know, you have some women, oh, you're going to care about lingerie. Oh, you, you gonna have some that going to say, uh, eh, my last guy wanted it, but you don't want it. So I ain't even going, I'm not even going to waste my time. Because they don't know that you can, you can bend, sometimes you can bend your lover to your will of, 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 of enjoying things with you you just gotta uh express it to them a few times or put it out there let them realize that uh she really like this i'm gonna pretend like i like lingerie tonight <laughs> <laughs> i'm saying you know if you like it um your partner doesn't have to like it i had a i had a ex that didn't like lingerie and if i would come to bed with lingerie on and we argued about that all the time. If I came to bed with lingerie on, then he he wouldn't touch me. Oh, he's upset about that. Wow. All right. So you're gonna let this little piece of material, this little bit, 
keep you from all of this goodness? What's wrong? <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but, them guys just be wanting to have their own way. He just, yeah, he he was very, very alpha, very dominant. And he just, look, I, when you come to bed, I want you naked. And I'm like, well, I, mean, I don't know why you can't unwrap goods. You know, that's how I was feeling. Like, come on now. Like, it's taking all the excitement out of it for me. But, you know, everybody's different. And uh, I've learned that sexual compatibility with your lover, partner, spouse uh, is very important. It's yeah. very. Definitely. I agree with that. But, you know, yeah, sometimes people grow. You grow into understanding your, 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 your lover, your partner or whatever. You grow into understanding because they're all from different environment, different background, used to different things. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, being a man, you think that, this is what works. It works for her, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for her. It don't mean you do the you you don't know what you're doing. It just means you don't know what you're doing for her. And you got to tweak it for each partner. And that's what I was saying. You know, um, I just had this conversation when I was live um, on Friday about sex um, toys in the bedroom and um, also you know, just being more open to what your partner likes. Because if, you, if you're if you a pleaser and when you're in a relationship, it's about sacrifice. So, you know, a lot of men feel like, hey, you know, I've never had to bring sex toys into a relationship or, you know, I've always been good enough. It doesn't mean you're not good enough, but every woman is different. Maybe Definitely. this is what stimulates her. And if you want her to actually reach an orgasm, then you're going to have to tweak things a little bit different because I tell people, you say, you know, uh, I don't know how, how vulgar I can get on your podcast. We don't get too vulgar. But, but okay. So let me let me let me be nice then and say I know some men that say yes I know how to give oral sex you know yeah I can please my woman but you can't please every woman the same there's no cookie cutter scenario that you got to do how many licks does it take you feel me so I'm just saying you have to be willing to learn your partner's body because it's just like a car every car is different you yeah. can't put the same oil in every car so what makes you think you could yes. You know, please me the same way you pleased um Shaquayque. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So in 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 when when you, when you think about the whole sex appeal thing, what a man, what a man got to do for you to to enhance his sex appeal to you? Oh my gosh, uh, that is such a loaded question. But let me just say this: I love. I love a man that takes pride in his hygiene. You know, his 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 teeth are brushed. His you know his, he's smelling good. You know, because I want to be all up on my man. You know, and it's about fragrances. If you smell good, oh, it just does something to me. So for my man, um, you know, that is very important that you smell good and that you are clean. And, you know, of course, you got days where maybe you, you haven't shaved or whatever, but just knowing that you care about your appearance is important to me because I definitely care about mine. So I want someone to match me on that. And that is like a major turn on for a man to smell good. Mm. So he doesn't really have to, you know, I don't know if there's um, man lingerie, but he don't have to wear <laughs> You don't have to wear no man laundry or none of that. You just you just gotta put on some lotion, some baby oil, spray some of that, um, spray some um some Calvin Klein or or whatever the hot um uh, uh perfume is or uh, at at the time, and and he's good. I mean, listen, I I love um. I love my, he doesn't have to wear lingerie. You know, I like a manly man. He doesn't have to. If he wants to give me a little strip tease, little show, whatever, that's fine. Um, but I love something so simple as the box of briefs. Oh, they are so, the, the you know, the ones that um, look like biker shorts. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. So sexy. That's so sexy. Now, um, 
I have to say my biggest turn off is those tidy whities You know, for a grown man to wear tidy whities I mean, it I like it. It, does, it just it's takes away from the sexy. It's not becoming of a man to wear tidy whities I can't get with it. I, I mean, I just don't, I don't like it. <laughs> it's not sexy to me. <laughs> so, so side note, is there such thing as man laundry? Um, yes, they have man uh, lingerie for men. Yes, they do. They have the little. Um, oh, that was being funny. Silk, silk boxers. You know, they also have. Um, what do you call that? Um, like those those little silky or see through like netted shirts that they can wear. I mean, men look. It don't take much for a man to be sexy. So you know. He doesn't have to do all that extra stuff. He could just come in the room with boxers on or, you know, I'm not into my man wearing a thong or anything like that, you know, um, but sexy boxers and a sexy tank top is cute. That's, that's enough for me. Wouldn't advise men to wear uh, um, thongs. I don't think that's becoming, but anyway, that's the whole deal. <laughs> I, yeah. it, look, no body boy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so when when you uh when when the guy do all of that, that's all he needs to do. Just smell good. He got his, his hygiene thing going on. His little silk boxes. That's that's basically his um sex appeal to you. Is is you know. I keep, you know, I keep going back to looks. Is there a look that you can give somebody that that's that sex that 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 that, that like give off some sex appeal? Because yeah. I keep thinking that sometimes when when I you know you see a lady or for you you see a, a a man or somebody in the store and they look at you a certain way and you like, you know, I, I feel like that's kind of a a, a type of sex appeal. It is. Um... And you know those eyes that you can give someone when you're looking at them and you look at them like up and down and you're like, oh, yeah. look at you know, there's a there's some there's some looks that you cannot even say anything and basically it's understood. Yeah, it's, you already know that's like, how you ooh, feel. <laughs> undress me with your eyes. I'm like that. <laughs> you know, be, or, be in the club before you like, oh man, I think she cute. Are you trying or, to get her attention and she gave you that look and you like, mm, okay. Yeah. Or for if a man bites his lip, it's something about that just does something to me. You know, it's, especially if he's if, if he's attractive, he's, you know, he looks well put together and he's just sitting there looking at you and he just bite his lip like, mm, girl, woo, that <laughs> that does something to you. You'd be like, oh my God. Uh take yeah, my number. Take my number. Come correct and bite your lips. Don't forget. <laughs> Don't tell not everybody gonna be biting their lips. Biting their like. lips when they see you. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. I think uh women like you will have uh a persona, have an image, have uh notoriety. I think it's is it easier for you guys to 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 show off your sex appeal or or is it harder now because now you know it you know this person know me that person know me i'm 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 you know i'm a i'm a uh a person you are, you a social media uh influencer uh a famous person off social media so does it make it harder for like so many people know you when you step out that you have to turn it up or you just say hey man you know i'm me I was going to say, I, um, I've always been known to dress. So I dress for me, you know, and I don't leave the house looking any kind of way. And I've had people get upset with me about that. Like, you got to do all that. Yes. I have all that for me. And it's not about anyone else, but I always feel like you never know who you're going to bump into. First impressions are everything. And sometimes you only get one shine. So I'm never going to um, be out in a bonnet. You know, I have a problem with women that go out in bonnets. You know, um, I'm, I'm 
about the house, I'm always presentable. My hair's done, my nails done, my toes are right. I'm I'm shaved, you know, I'm waxed. I'm dressed to the nines, you know, I want everything matching. That's just how I am. And even on on a down day, my flip-flops better match. Every everything got to match, you know. I have to always <laughs> I, I I I understand that. I think <laughs> I think with 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 uh, some people though, when it, when it comes to that, I think you have some people that, like for me, I don't really dress up unless I have somewhere to go. Mm-hmm. I, and I and I consider myself somebody who, who dress fairly well, but my thing is, I hate feeling uncomfortable, and when I feel like I'm dressed well, I feel uncomfortable. I don't, I can't, you know, wow. I can't do the stuff that I want to do because now, you know. I got to be careful because I don't want to mess this up or I don't want to, you know, sometimes I'm clumsy. I walk in the kitchen and hit something over and then it all over my, so, you know, I, I don't, you know, I don't have time for all of that. And, and then it makes me, it makes me feel like, you know, I'm putting on for someone else. Yeah. And, and, yeah. I, I, don't, and I never like that feeling when I have to feel like I'm putting on for someone else. So you should always um, dress in clothes that make you comfortable. You know, for you, maybe it is, um, I mean, I love like athletic wear, you know, I love polo, you know, men can look so good in the most simplest things, you know, and still be, you know, dressed, dressed up, you know, you don't have to go out and get you a, a, three-piece suit or a Steve Harvey suit just to just to look good you know because that ain't everybody's style definitely go get you some Nikes you know and a and a Nike outfit you know go Make get sure you clean Adidas, you know Adidas outfit you know there's there's nice quality sweatsuits and things like that and you still can look just as debonair in that as you can in a suit so you have to do what's best for you Sean don't don't be uncomfortable. That's life is too short to be uncomfortable. Yeah, man. So you know, I, <laughs> I like I said, I'm I'm you know you know I mean everybody that knows me personally, you know I wear wear a lot of jewelry, but that's only when I have somewhere to go. If you see right. me outside of the club or an event, I'm not wearing anything other than this watch. <laughs> sometimes I even forget that my ears is pierced. And I I have them. I haven't worn my earrings since the pandemic start. I haven't worn any jewelry, nothing since the pandemic start. Wow. You know, so it's like a waste of money. They all just sitting in the, in, in my, uh, in my jewelry compartment in the closet. And it's like, now when you think about, when you think about life, when you examine life, it just feel like, eh, it's just a waste of money sitting over there. <laughs> but you know, but I had fun with it when, when I was having fun with it. So uh, I guess it, 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 it pays for itself already. Right. It does. So, you know, with, with, with saying that, man, sex appeal, I think sex appeal is definitely something that people have to have. I think that you don't have to be the most beautiful person or, or the most handsome person to have sex appeal. I think sex appeal is is an image that you present, however you present it. You know, sometimes you can look at somebody, you'd be like, oh, ain't that fine, but whew, they just something about them that you yes. Just, oh, yeah. Yes, that swag, that appeal. Yep. Just like, oh, and yep. you so I, I I feel like I, I and the reason the reason I, I talk to you about this because like it's like, you know, people I know her for a long time. I know I, I when you when you dress up dress up, come out looking, you know, sexy, looking nice and, and get all the attention. But you have other people that do the same thing and they don't get the uh, attention that you get because the, the, the appeal is missing. Mm-hmm. You know? So it's not everybody have sex appeal or everybody know how to utilize their sex appeal. But just throwing on something tight and, and, and a little revealing doesn't make you sexy is how you put it on how you wear it and 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 how you present yourself in it that's the 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 sex appeal to me it's the confidence that makes you sexy you know yeah i forgot about that part that's the biggest part 
you the clothes don't make me i make the clothes mm-hmm. so it's like i've seen things hanging up in the store and it's, it looks it looks a mess it's ugly and when i put it on i bring it to life i make it you know it's like oh wow man i didn't know it was gonna look like that mm-hmm. so you you make the statement with yeah. your con- you know right that, uh, i agree with that i agree with that so you know once again, uh, it was a. Uh, I think this was a great conversation, man. I think uh, we're gonna have to do this conversation, do a conversation like this again. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna bring uh, Miss China Jameson back, Miss Exotic, Miss Exotic Beauty. We're gonna have to bring her back again and get into a more uh, in-depth uh, conversation. Now I, I had to bring her on, so mm-hmm. uh, you know, to, to 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 break the ice. Now that the ice is broken. We're going to let it know the next conversation, <laughs> you know, That's- so we're definitely uh, glad to have you, China. Uh, it, was a, it was a blessing to have you here. Um, much respect for coming through, man. You want to say something to your fans or people that's going to watch real quick before we go? My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Um, and I would love to come back. And I just want to thank you. Definitely. Definitely. I want to thank you for passing through. I want to thank you for showing us the love and the support because, you know, uh, sometimes in life, people get to a stage and they forget where they come from. I can't say that about you, you know? I asked, you know, I reached out to you and it wasn't even a hesitation for you to uh, for you to come aboard. So that, that's what happened when you have real people that you know for years and you have yeah. genuine love and respect for each other. This is the type of stuff that happened. You reach out to them and they, you know, within a within a blink of an eye, she was ready to go. Was no no question and no hesitation about anything. So right. I have to respect Miss James and then I have to support her. So don't forget, she all over social media. She on every <laughs> platform. China James, you know, every single platform. So <laughs> find her out there, man. This is the Anything Goes podcast, man. It's your boy Sean Peoples. I'm here with my home girl, Miss China Jameson. The exotic one, exotic beauty, Miss Exotic. Man, if you <laughs> like our vibes, you like the movement, like, subscribe, share. Comment in the comment section, man. Ring the notification bell so you can keep up with everything that we got going on. And also jump in the community tab and vote. Just want to see where your mind set at to be, to be able to better give content to you people out there, man. And thanks for all the support so far. Don't forget about our road to 5K. Miss Jameson, we out of here. <laughs>